we are asked to divide the rational expressions. The first step is to write the division problem as an equivalent multiplication problem. Dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. Looking at the notes below, dividing by c over d is equivalent to multiplying by d over c. And notice how the first fraction remains the same. So for our problem, the first rational expression remains the same. And then instead of dividing by this rational expression, we multiply it by the reciprocal, which gives us times the quantity x squared minus five x plus six over the quantity two x squared minus seven x plus three. The next step will be to simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators, but to do this, we must first factor all the numerators and denominators. Let's first factor six x squared minus seven x plus two. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor, but here the only common factor is one, and therefore if this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. This trinomial is a little more challenging to factor because the leading coefficient is not one, it's six. We've discussed several methods for factoring this type of trinomial. In this video, we will factor this using trial and error. The first step is to place the factors of six x squared into the first positions of the binomials. Six x squared is equal to six x times x or three x times two x. Let's use three x and two x. The next step is to place the factors of positive two into the second positions so that the sum of the inner product and the outer product is equal to negative seven x. And because the sum must be negative, we will use the negative factors of positive two, which are negative one and negative two. When placing these factors in the binomials, we will never have a common factor unless there was a common factor in the original trinomial. And because the only common factor here was one, we know we would not put minus two here because then the binomial would have a common factor of two. So let's put the minus one with the two x and the minus two with the three x. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. The inner product is negative four x. The outer product is negative three x, which notice does give us negative seven x, the middle term. We now know this is factored correctly. The next step is the factor of four x minus eight. Again, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. Here the greatest common factor is four. If we factor four from four x minus eight, we're left with x minus two which if we need to, we can check using distribution, we still have four x minus eight. And now let's factor x squared minus five x plus six. Notice the only common factor is one. If this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x. We have an x in the first position of both binomials. And because the leading coefficient is one, this is much easier to factor, the constant terms and the binomial factors will be the factors of positive six that add to negative five. And because negative three times negative two is equal to positive six, and negative three plus negative two is equal to negative five, the factors we need are negative three and negative two, which means one binomial factor is x minus three, and the other is x minus two. And now we need to factor two x squared minus seven x plus three. If this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors because the first term is two x squared, which is equal to two x times x. The first position of one binomial is two x, and the first position of the other binomial is x. And again, because the leading coefficient is not one, it's two, we now place the factors of positive three in the second positions so that the sum of the inner product and the outer product is equal to negative seven x. And again, because the sum must be negative, we will use the negative factors of positive three, which are negative three and negative one. And again, we are hoping that some of these factors will simplify out. Because we have a factor of two x minus one here, let's put the minus one with the two x and the minus three with the x. And now check the sum of the inner product and outer product. The inner product is negative one x or negative x. The outer product is negative six x, which does give us negative seven x, the middle term. This is factored correctly. And now we simplify out all the common factors 
between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have a common factor of two x minus one. Two x minus one divided by two x minus one simplifies to one. Notice here we have a common factor of x minus three. X minus three divided by itself simplifies to one. And then finally, we also have a common factor of x minus two here and here. X minus two divided by x minus two simplifies to one. We have no other common factors between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we now multiply knowing the product is in simplest form. In the numerator, we are left with a factor of three x minus two. In the denominator, we have a factor of four. This is the simplified answer. And we cannot simplify the two and the four here because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. This rational expression is in simplest form. I hope you found this helpful.